How's it going everyone? It's Sam. I want to talk about what we need to know before the next couple days. Now we're going to take a look at some of the big earnings, some of the estimates coming up this week. So we're not going to take a look at all the big companies this week, but we're going to take a look at some of the largest for the first few days. So we're going to take a look at the estimated earnings and the estimated revenue, kind of talk about them for a minute. Now, if you guys like this, Maybe I'll do another one before the end of the week where I just go over some of the estimated earnings. You guys can always come back to this over the next few days too to see, okay, what was Facebook supposed to earn again? Okay, did they beat? Did they did they miss? What were we looking for? Stuff like that. So definitely do that if you guys are interested. Let me know what do you think about this setup too. Honestly, it probably doesn't look as good being up here, but uh, it's a lot more comfortable, I'll tell you that. So let's take a look at some of the earnings coming up. So we have Tesla. Tesla is reporting after close today. I believe their earnings call is around 5.30 p.m. Eastern time, so an hour and a half after the market closes. I could be wrong on that. I just know that a couple people are streaming the Tesla earnings around then, so I'm guessing that's when it is. But we already know their estimated deliveries uh, because they came out with those a couple days after the quarter ended. However, we don't know revenue. We don't know earnings. We want to hear what they're going to do with Bitcoin, uh, whether they bought more, whether they you know, are testing liquidity again, whether they're going to accept it as payment. I'm sure that they'll get questions asked about that too when they do their live Q&A. So that is going to be one that we have to be on the lookout for. So right off the bat, we can take a look at what analysts are expecting. Now, I've seen a couple different numbers. They're all around the same amount though. Average estimate is just under a dollar here for Tesla dollar worth of earnings revenue is around 11.2 billion for this quarter they're expecting it to go up both of these to go up a decent amount next quarter uh, and then we can take a look at what they did last quarter here so last quarter they had uh, they had actually not hit earnings estimates this is what they've done the last few quarters you can see that they actually have been coming in under by a significant amount uh, so I would not be surprised if they missed earnings again. Now, it might be difficult too because of how Bitcoin is thought of. It's thought of as an intangible. So it, it can be tricky for accounting. So it can throw off how much they earn. Now, I, I don't know the ins and outs of that. I'm not, a, I'm not an accountant, but it can be tricky how you account for $1.35 billion worth of Bitcoin. So that might throw off the earnings a little bit. Now, I forgot to mention this, but if you guys don't mind hitting the like button, I appreciate that. There is a link underneath the video too, in case you guys wanna start investing in crypto. I was buying last week and that turned out to be pretty good. I know we have a lot of companies that it's thought that they might be accepting Bitcoin or other cryptos as payment soon. So a lot of people are excited about this week. So if you guys want, there is a link underneath the video to get a bonus and uh, some interest on your crypto. So that is really the biggest earnings that we have here on Monday. That is really the only one that I'm really watching. I know some people like Logitech, uh, but I'm not really paying attention to that too much. Then tomorrow we have UPS, 3M, Waste Management, JetBlue. So three, you know, not very sexy companies. And then we have Sirius down here too, uh, or Sirius. Uh, so not really sexy companies, but some nice dividend payers some companies that we just need here in America. So these are a little bit more resilient. I mean, we can see what people are doing with the UPS. Are people still shopping online uh, a lot more than they used to? Have they kind of returned to going in public more, especially with summer around uh, for half, pretty much half the quarter? You know, are people going back and shopping local again or are they online ordering from different places? So that will be interesting to watch. Now, Apple is after the close tomorrow. And this is obviously a company that people constantly wonder about, whether it's overvalued. I mean, for a lot of people, this is just like a very safe company to invest in. People will continue to get the newest iPhone. People will continue to get newer MacBooks and Apples, uh, Apple iPads and stuff like that year after year. They're starting to grow subscription revenue too. I mean, with their cloud services. This is just a very safe company in a lot of people's eyes, but with that, it's been pushed up a lot. I started buying a couple months ago, and now the company is at $150. I was buying around the 120 to 130 range, and this is after it got pumped up a lot after it split too. So the average estimate is $1 worth of earnings. Uh, so that's where we're sitting at now. 
some people are worried, hey, maybe they didn't have as much to sell after the first quarter. Maybe, uh, maybe people just, so they bought so much that they don't need phones for a while. That's always the question with them. The average estimate is $73 billion worth of revenue and $1 worth of earnings per share. We can take a look and they have been beating estimates the last couple quarters. So last quarter they actually had about $1.40 worth of earnings, which is really good honestly after uh, after the winter months because a lot of people are buying stuff getting ready for Christmas. So a lot of people bought, they got a dollar and 40 cents worth of earnings. Now the estimate's about a dollar. So we'll have to see how that all shakes out. A lot of people think, hey, maybe they're, maybe they actually bought Bitcoin and put it on their balance sheet too. That's another thing that people are paying attention to with Apple. Then we have Microsoft, Alphabet, Visa, we have Starbucks, Teladoc, Enphase, QuantumScape. So a lot of big companies, a lot of retail favorites. I mean, between Teladoc, Enphase, and QuantumScape, those are some smaller companies than these ones at the top, but a lot of people are investing in them. Then we have some big players here, right? Visa, we're gonna see how people are spending their money. Starbucks, we're gonna see, okay, are people spending a lot on coffee? Do they feel comfortable spending a lot of money again? Alphabet, just a massive ad company, and they have a lot of other parts of their business. Microsoft, I don't really follow too much, but we have Alphabet here. This is a company that I would love to add more to. We can see what they're expected to hit here. So the average estimate for earnings is about $19.14. Average estimate for revenue, 56 billion. Now they crushed their earnings recently. So they had $10, they beat by about 25%, a little bit over 25% uh, back in July of 2020. Then they beat by about about 50% here, hitting $16.40. Then again, just crushed earnings, about 50% better than people expected, analysts expected. And then they beat by about 60 or 70%. So they have been constantly crushing earnings estimates. So if we get another blowout quarter where, hey, maybe they hit high 20s, maybe $30 per share of earnings, I would expect this to pop. Now, it's been going up a lot, so we could always see it where they have great earnings and then they fall back down. But so many people, uh, you know, some they've been beating quarters so many different times uh, recently, but it has been going up like crazy. If we look at the chart here on Google, it's just been up and to the right for the last year and a half. People really like this as a very strong, safe play. Now, just looking at their forward earnings though, if they could, let's just say they they hit their run rate from last quarter, let's say they get $100 worth of earnings per share over the next year, which I don't think will be difficult for them because they have been crushing earnings recently. Let's say you get $100 worth of earnings per share, that puts them at about 26 to 27 price to earnings ratio, which is lower significantly than a lot of the other FANG stocks. Now you can always look at run rate for the other ones and it would throw everything off. Uh, and maybe those would be a little bit more competitive, but the thing is Google at a 27 price to earnings ratio is very attractive. I mean, it's so safe. That's what I really like about it. So I would love to be able to pick it up again uh, in the 2500s, that would be awesome, honestly. So we'll have to see if that's actually possible though, <laughs> because it is, it is just a fantastic company and they're crushing earnings. And then Wednesday does not slow down at all. We have Boeing, Shopify, Pfizer, Tilray, McDonald's, Spotify, Tiva. Uh, then we have Facebook, Ford, PayPal, Qualcomm. Man, this is just a huge day. These two days are fantastic. There's going to be so much going on. Uh, I can't wait. <laughs> uh, I'm actually getting a puppy Tuesday, hopefully after the market closes. So it's going to be a little bit tough. I really want to see what happens with these companies but I'm gonna be busy, so uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to stay dialed in though. But then we have Facebook. I'm gonna cover Facebook here. Facebook's a company that I've always felt like I wanted to buy more, and I have, but I've never bought heavy enough, right? It's one of those companies, I'm sure a lot of us have it, where we like the company so much, but there's just a shinier company over here all the time. So I buy a little bit, I buy a share or two, and I really wish I had bought five or 10 shares. But here we can see we have an average estimate of $3 worth of earnings and then about $28 billion worth of revenue. Now, last couple quarters we can take a look at. Last quarter they had $3.29 worth of earnings. 
quarter before that, nearly $4. I mean, a lot of people spend money towards the end of the year, remember, on ads. So we are actually expecting a nice little jump from last quarter, because last quarter, they were only expecting $2.35 worth of earnings. Now, $3, if we could be up in the three and a half to four dollar range, that would be great also. I mean, this company is another one that is low uh, in terms of in terms of price to earnings compared to the other FANG stocks. And I've been talking about Facebook for a while. I did a video on tip ranks and I did a video last week on Facebook. And this is gonna hit $400 soon. Uh, strong earnings, they're gonna hit $400 in my opinion. Now, again, it could be just like some of these other stocks where, hey, they can beat earnings, but if people are expecting them to even be better, <laughs> then then it might fall down a little bit. But it's just another safe company. I mean, we're talking about a lot of safe companies. However, you can look at some other ones that are maybe not so safe. I mean, a little bit higher risk, higher reward, like Tesla. Obviously, they still have a lot of cash, but they are not close to the same level of safety as Apple or Facebook. Uh, not that Tesla is going to go bankrupt, but it could definitely fall in price. And then we have some other ones like Teladoc, QuantumScape, some other high risk, high reward plays. But we'll stop it there on Wednesday. Uh, if you guys want me to cover Thursday, Friday, or if you guys want me to start doing this a little bit more in the future, let me know. But we will really have to watch to see this is the massive week for earnings. The bank started off earnings really strong, which is good. And the market is kind of sideways, I think just gearing up for a huge week. However, the fact is, Crypto actually has done quite well this week, which is awesome to see. So some of the crypto related stocks, some ones that I've been investing in pretty heavily are up a good amount today, which is awesome to see. We also have a couple other movers. I'll just pull it up here real quick. We have Lucid, which is moving a lot today. And then we have a couple other retail favorites here. So if you guys wanna see what I'm buying every single day, every single week, you can check out the link down below to Patreon. If you guys want, you can check out that link to to block fight again interest rate on your cryptocurrencies definitely check that out underneath the video thank you guys and i will see you in the next video bye